Right, today we're going to have a go at a slightly different uh, proof method called proof by contrapositive. Uh, contrapositive. Uh, and this is actually conceptually pretty similar to a proof by contradiction. In general terms, most of the exam questions and assignment questions I've seen tend to use proof proof by contradiction rather than by contrapositive but it is important that you know that there is a slight difference between the two uh, because they mean slightly different things. However if you're looking for uh, topics to study for your exam uh, I'd much more recommend revising induction and contradiction proofs rather than contrapositives. That said here's your proof by contrapositive. I don't know why I keep saying coof. Anyway, so the proof by contrapositive, it's based on this idea. So if you have two statements, if you have a statement A implies B, so if A implies B, then your contrapositive of that is that not, sorry, not B implies not A. All right. So uh, to give you a, a wordy kind of example of that, if, if our statement, if we have a, two statements, uh, let's say, if I study for math, then I will get a good grade, then if I study for math is our statement A, I will get a good grade is our statement B, then the contrapositive of that would be if I didn't get a good grade, then I didn't study for math. So not A implies, sorry, not B implies not A. Of course, that's very rarely the form you'll see it in, in an exam or some kind of question. You usually see it in the form of a question like this. So if xy is odd, then x and y are odd. Okay. So if we want to prove this by contrapositive, then we can start out by separating our statements. So this bit here is A and X and Y are odd is B. So to do a proof by contraposition we have to start off with not B. In that case not B is going to be X and Y are even. Even. Sorry still getting used to the screen. And what we need to do from that is show that not A is true. So that A is even is even. And hopefully you can see this is going to be a reasonably simple proof. So if x is even then we can write it as a multiple of 2m if m is some non-negative integer. Exactly the same for y, it's just the definition of a positive number. So therefore, therefore x times y is 2m times 2n which is 2 bracket 2mn Right. And therefore, because m and n, because uh, there's a factor of 2 in our product, therefore x, y must be even. Right. So, and that's the end of our proof. So then let's just say, therefore x, y is even. Right. Uh, another example, which we'll go through just quickly, um, all the questions I can find to do with this seem to be very, very closely linked to the odd and even properties of numbers. Doesn't seem to be too many others out there. So let's have another one. If n cubed plus 2n plus 1 is odd, then n is even. So the contrapositive of that, just sorting this out, this is our a, this is our b, we start with our not b, which is n is odd. So that means by definition we can write n as some 2k plus 1. It's just the definition of an odd number. And we want to show that n squared, sorry, n cubed plus 2n plus 1 is even. If we can show that, then our proof will be done. So let's start off by a direct substitution. So we're going to go 2k plus 1 cubed plus 2 times 2k plus 1, which is 4k plus 2 plus 1. And we need to show that that is all even. And um, I've already expanded the 2k squared, so 2k plus 1 all cubed. So I'm just going to put that in quickly. That gives me 8k cubed plus 12, 
sorry. Yep, plus 12k squared. Now I've forgotten where I've got up to in my proof, which is never a great thing to do. Okay, let's work through this in steps, do it properly. Um, so our 2k plus 1 squared is going to be 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. And now we need to multiply that by 2k plus 1. I'm going to go down a little bit. So we're going to get 8k cubed, <coughs> like that. Um, plus 4k squared plus 8k squared from these two plus 4k plus 2k plus 1 grouping all my white terms gives me 8k cubed plus 12k squared plus 6k there we go plus 1 all right uh, and that is my k cubed term now adding in, sorry, it's my n cubed term, plus what we had before, which was 4k plus 2 plus 1. Doo, 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 doo. Ooh, sorry. Plus 4k plus 2 plus 1. Whew, that is a giant term. So we're just looking to show that this is even. And we can do that really easily just by seeing that there's a common factor of 2 in all of these apart from these 2 plus 1 terms. I can add them together. I can rewrite this as 2 bracket 4k cubed plus 6k squared plus 5k, which is those two divided by 2 plus 4 divided by 2 plus 2. So because I've got a common factor of 2 in all of these, therefore this is even. And that is the end of my proof.